to uh, Tacoma Traveler. So um, I look a little different right now than I usually do. It's because I'm on my way home from work, which is a good time to point out that my adventure mobile, my Tacoma, my 2014 Toyota Tacoma is also my everyday commuter truck. So I'm in this vehicle every day and it is also my transport to all kinds of fun and adventure on weekends. Um, I had actually already previously recorded the whole intro part for this video, but somehow I lost it, so I'm redoing it. This video is going to be just a little bit different than normal. Uh, for one big reason, it doesn't have any actual camping in it. Um, this video is just going to be a day trip I took and a little paddling um, up in Delaware that I did with Sonny and Lawrence, who you might know from my previous video. Um, but before you go, if you're just looking for camping, you know, you might want to skip this one. But before you go, stick around for just one second. Because I've got to say, I think the very best people on the planet happen to be stumbling into my YouTube channel. Because y'all have been absolutely freaking amazing. I have received the most supportive, encouraging, um, fun comments that I could have ever imagined and it just it just means the world to me and I, I couldn't let this go any further without again saying like a big huge thank you thank you for watching thanks for dropping the comments um, things are getting kind of busy on the channel um, and it's, uh, it's taking me by surprise but I, I'm riding it and I'm loving it and uh, I'm really glad you're here all right if you just want to watch camping, go ahead and sign off now. If you want to see a little bit of um, kayaking, and I'm going to talk more about my um, inflatable kayak. It's an uh, Intex Challenger inflatable kayak. You may have seen it on the earlier video, but I'm actually going to talk about it a little more on this one. So stick around. I will have a link to um, the inflatable kayak that I ended up buying in the video notes. and. Uh, in full transparency, if you click on that link and buy something, I make a tiny, tiny, tiny little portion, percentage, a little bit of that, um, as an Amazon affiliate. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I was clear about that. And if you have any questions that I don't cover, because I'm not real great at doing these, like, technical, kind of, like, reviewing or explainer videos. Um, so if you have any questions that I didn't cover, just drop it in the comments and I'll do my very best to uh, get back to you and answer it as best I can. Um, but uh, let's go have some fun. So I had filmed uh, myself inflating the kayak, you know, when I was actually out there where I inflated the kayak, but somehow again, I lost that video. So I am recreating and reenacting that uh, event right here in my garage this evening for your viewing pleasure. I did actually time myself on this so I have an accurate uh, report to give of how long this took me to do in real time. I've had several different traditional kayaks, hard sided, that uh, need to be uh, strapped to the top of a vehicle. But as I started truck camping, I really wanted something that I didn't have to struggle with so much, that I didn't have to carry on the top. Um, and that offered me a little more flexibility in being able to carry it around and uh, maneuver it. So if you haven't already kind of gathered um, from my channel, or maybe you're new, I am kind of thrifty, and so literally I purchased the cheapest inflatable that I could find. Given that it was so inexpensive, I had very low expectations for it, in all honesty. I thought it would essentially be like paddling a big raft. Um, I have been very pleasantly surprised with this um, inflatable kayak. It came in at less than $100, and it arrived with everything you see me using in this video. So the full kayak, the pump, uh, the seat, the air cushiony thing, the airbag um, right there that you see me using. Um, it's a, a, a form of ballast, I, I assume. Um, I don't know if I actually need it, but I usually pump it up and throw it in there. Uh, it also, of course, comes with a seat 
which you see me blowing up now. It has two separate compartments, a back and the seat part uh, that blow up separately, um, which I actually found fairly nice because I discovered that I like the seat part um, much less inflated than I like the back part. Uh, I like to have a lot of support in the back, but um, I like the seat part kind of uh, with a lot more give in it. The seat just buckles into place and it uh, secures with a nice wide Velcro strip and this even has a skeg um, that attaches which um, I do usually put on there. I think it does help a little bit with tracking and uh, steering. So the official time on this was 9 minutes and 45 seconds and then I was off. Sunny and Lawrence of course joined me with their uh, folding Oru kayaks. This is Lawrence getting in. He's gotten pretty smooth at this deal. Um, he's new to kayaking and uh, doing great. If you'd like more information about these kayaks, which again are folding kayaks, so they fold up and uh, don't have to be transported on top of a vehicle, please check out the Deal Island video that I have up. The second part of that um, has a lot of details about their kayaks. The day turned out to be absolutely gorgeous. There was a light breeze, but nothing that gave us any, uh, any difficulty in getting around. It gave me a real chance to try out and see what this kayak could do. It is obviously very purely a recreational kayak. Um, it is not meant to handle any kind of technical difficulties on the water, but if you're looking for something that's super easy um, to carry with you and easy to inflate and easy to get into the water, um, and you just kind of want to paddle around and explore a little, I gotta say, I would def I would recommend this this kayak. Um, I am able to keep up with my friends just fine. I can steer it really well, and when I want to stop for a cookie, I can definitely do that. Deflating and packing up the kayak is my least favorite part of the process. Um, but just to show everything about this kayak, I went ahead and filmed that as well. And uh, I timed it, so we'll see how long it takes me to get it all packed up and deflated. Sunny was uh, kind enough to take a picture there. You saw of uh, my setup, of uh, me filming myself. Uh, and you'll see the process I use kind of just in reverse to get it all packed away. As we're watching this, it's a good time for me to say that those cookies uh, that have become traditional on our kayaking adventures are courtesy of Sunny. They are cowboy cookies and they are as absolutely delicious as they appear. I also need to give Sunny credit for many of the photographs in this video. Um, if you were particularly taken by the beauty of a photograph that I've shown, most likely it was one of hers. So thank you so much for that, Sunny. Now I found that it always takes me at least two, two times to try to get this thing 
put away into the packing bag that it came with. Yeah, I thought that would actually work until it didn't. So here's my second attempt, dried it off a little more, got it packed up a little tighter, and sure enough, I was able to get it in. The kayak comes with a paddle. So the only real thing you would need equipment wise is a life jacket. Total time for the pack was 12 minutes. That was a fun little paddle. Not sure uh, how many more of those we'll be able to get in this uh, year before the weather turns a little too chilly, but we'll take the paddles we can get. Um, two quick things. Um, one uh, additional uh, thing I want to say about comments is I have noticed that some comments, I see the notifications and I get the little preview. When I go to interact with that comment, I, it's gone. Um, YouTube has done something with it. Um, I've checked all my settings. I can't figure out what's going on. If you have left a comment and uh, you haven't seen it pop up or um, if I haven't responded, I am trying to, to be pretty good about responding, but apparently YouTube eats some comments. So my apologies for that. I have tried to fix it, but I haven't been haven't been successful. Uh, second, um, I have a couple more stickers left. So if you haven't seen the gratitude and giveaway video, go check that out. On it, I have a couple of stickers that I've made up that I'm giving away. There's a few of those left. So if you would like one, please just contact me at the email that's in the uh, video notes and I will be happy to mail one to you um, as a show of gratitude for you're uh, watching this this channel. All right, thanks so much. I'm going camping if all goes as planned this coming weekend. So looking forward to that already. Take good care, and I'll see you next time.